Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Here we have a couple of progressive Democrats you're going to see that are involved in the New Hampshire primary that said they were undeclared. They lied. So once you're undeclared, you can vote for anybody you want to, Republican or Democrat. So they both voted for Nikki Haley. And they're so proud of the fact that they lied and twisted the rules to their advantage. Yeah, what a wonderful thing. You know, these people really suck. Before we go into it, I want to make a point here for my channel. I have well over 7,100 subscribers, and I appreciate every single one of you. The problem is, though, these longer videos, on an average, get less than 100 views for over 7,000 subscribers. There's something really screwy going on. To help me out with that, folks, is try to watch as many of my old videos as you can for as long as you can. Just to bring the numbers up. Just to show this website that they can't do what they're doing. There's no way I should have less than 100 views on 7,000 subscribers. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at these uh, two mental pygmies that are virtue signaling about how dishonest they are. Uh, Christian, who did you vote for and why? Yeah, so thank you. I voted for Nikki Haley, and it was certainly a strategic vote. Um, I think the DNC is fairly resolute in their nomination for Joe Biden. No, the DNC is fairly resolute in their nomination of Joe Biden. It's the Democrats in the country, the Democrats like you, moron, that are supposed to vote in primaries to pick the nominee, not the DNC. The fact of the matter is, there is no primary opponent in New Hampshire for Joe Biden because he's not on the ballot. So all these defectors, so to speak, that are Democrats voting for Nikki Haley does not affect Joe Biden at all. This thing is so twisted. You want the, the higher ups to pick your nominee for you. And you're trying to say you're saving democracy. I, are you really that stupid? Uh, and while I wouldn't vote for her in a general election, particularly on our differences with uh, climate change solution, a woman's right to bodily autonomy or uh, incarceration rates, I think a vote for Nikki Haley is, helps diminish Trump's influence in the RNC and their nomination, but is also a vote towards democracy. And also a vote towards democracy, even though I want the DNC to pick who the candidate is. Look how smug he is smiling. I got on national TV. Maybe the girl that I've been uh, interested in, maybe I'll get a little bit in the next couple of days just to show how famous I am and how virtuous I am. These people suck so bad. If there was a real primary and a whole bunch of Republicans went undeclared so they could vote for somebody else besides Joe Biden and then went on television, national television, in this case MSNBC, and said they did it, they'd be screaming. But look how, look how smug he is. Look how proud of himself he is. I lied. Boy, his parents got to be so proud of him. And Christian is emblematic of so many conversations that I've had here throughout the day. Which tells you that the Republican Party is not supporting Nikki Haley. Now, I saw some polls that said 40% of the vote Nikki Haley got, in the end it wasn't what it says here, 52-47. It was more like 55-44 Trump. He's up by about 11 points, give or take a little. About 40% of the votes that Nikki Haley got were Democrats, progressive Democrats, that lied and said they were undeclared at the last minute so they could vote for Nikki Haley to screw over Trump and the Republicans. If you take those numbers in consideration, Nikki Haley only got roughly 24-25% of the primary vote, and Trump won by 50 points if he used Republicans only. You know, unbelievable. Let's listen, let's listen to the rest. Rachel? Alex, Christian, thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's good to have that perspective. Good to have that perspective. Perspective that I lied. I mean, I'm not, I don't live in New Hampshire. I'm an expert on New Hampshire election law. But if you say you're undeclared and you're really not, is that against election laws? I really don't know. Now, let's listen to this other virtue signaling moron. Nikki Haley. And why did you vote for Nikki Haley? Uh, it's a vote against Trump. Uh, I think it would be better to have her against Biden in the uh, 
elections, then it would be Trump and her. Now, what he's saying is, as a registered Democrat, a progressive Democrat, I think Biden has a better chance against Nikki Haley than Biden has against Trump. He's scared that Trump might win, even though some of the polls show Nikki Haley in a head-to-head. This is not what's really going on, folks. They're scared for a reason. They know Nikki Haley can't beat Joe Biden, but they think that Trump might be able to beat him, and that scares them to death. So here's another one that said he was undeclared. So he lied. He filled out an affidavit saying he was undeclared so he could vote in the primary for anybody he wants to. Is that against New Hampshire election law? But I'll bet you money, if it is, not one of these morons will be brought to, to, to task for lying. Uh, I guess they got to sign the undeclared statement, so that's like under oath. So let's listen to the rest of what this guy has to say. Do you consider yourself generally independent, Republican, or Democrat? Uh, Democrat. So when you undeclared, you voted for Nikki Haley. If it was Nikki Haley against Joe Biden in a general election, who are you voting for? Joe Biden. And there you have it. There you have it. This is what really happened. So those of you that say, you know, Nikki Haley is only down by 11 points. Boy, the Republicans must be must be turning against Trump or they're, you know, his tarnish is gone. And so many negative things are going on and so much chaos in his life that we just can't vote for him is a lie is a lie. Just like this guy lied when he signed the affidavit saying he was undeclared. He lied. And so the other guy. So they can get their moment of fame. What is it? Their 15 minutes of fame, they call it. One on CNN, one on MSNBC. And virtue signal to show how wonderful they are to all their progressive friends. Maybe even impress some girls. Who knows? And these are the people, by the way, that the one guy said that the DNC should pick the candidate. And they're pretty resolved on Biden that he's trying to save democracy by letting somebody else, a board, a a political board, pick his candidate. And the same with this moron. They're trying to save democracy. Save democracy by doing what? Lying on an affidavit and saying you're undeclared? This is what Democrats are really and truly like. Have you heard it all in these open primary states that Republicans that went undeclared? So they could vote for a Biden uh, choice in a primary, an anti-Biden choice? No, because guess what? They've already declared he's the candidate, and they took away the right for the New Hampshire Democrats to vote for the Democrat they wanted. And these morons are saving democracy. My God, my God. What, what, you know, it's bad enough twisting the rules and cheating. If you sign an affidavit saying you're undeclared, I consider that cheating. And then turn around and go on national television, in this case MSNBC and CNN, and brag about it, and you're prideful that you did something wonderful. My virtue signaling is now all over the country. Look at me, look at me. These people suck so bad. Anyway, folks, I'd like to give you an idea what really went on in New Hampshire, at least in part. So if you take out the Democrat trolls that went undeclared and voted for Nikki Haley. Trump won by almost 50 points. So Democrats, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Until the next time, God bless, goodbye, and good luck.